All right, guys, in this video, we're checking out the Runcam Nano 3. This is a camera that you've seen a lot of footage from on my channel already. So you've seen this in the Mobula 6, been out for a while, and also the Baby Tooth. I was also running the uh, Nano 3. And if you guys don't know what the Nano 3 camera is, it's basically a um, super light micro camera mainly for whoops and toothpicks and the big advantage of course here is the size and the weight it's just a little over one gram for the camera while it still has the same size sensor as the um, I guess the larger Runcam Nano 2 I believe it's the same sensor it seems like it's color rep reproduction is similar to the Runcam Nano 2 but the Runcam Nano 2 obviously is a lot heavier it's about three times as heavy, about 3.2 grams, and this is about 1.1 grams. And uh, the major difference, obviously, is they got rid of the case and the ability to mount it in the 19 millimeter size. So that is a disadvantage. Um, and they have this new ultra tiny lens here. It's plastic and it does have some issues with heat and warping, falling off, etc. Um, those are some of the downsides of going with this really light camera and of course um, the uh, mounting options are somewhat limited because there's no screw holes here to mount it to certain frames so you can need some sort of an adapter which is what uh, is on the Mobula 6. Let me just go ahead and show you, I'll show you how much this weighs and then we'll uh, I'll look at the image on the, uh, the image quality from the camera. And this is with the plug, it's about 1.37 grams so they're Declaring this weight as 1.1 grams, obviously it's not with this wire here and the plug. Okay, so I got the uh, camera powered on and I have it, the video feed going into the uh, PowerPlay DVR screen here. It's a pretty good screen as you can see. Um, I think the things to note about this are a pretty wide field of view without a lot of fisheye. Colors are pretty decent and it's a 4-3 um, aspect ratio sensor and image. And so you can see you have a pretty large uh, vertical field of view, which is important for FPV. And I would say that this uh, field of view and image is really close to the Runcam Nano 2. So if you like that image quality, uh, this is pretty close. Obviously with the smaller lens being plastic and all that, um, it's a little bit less clear, especially in lower light conditions compared to the Nano 2. But the difference is really, really minor in my opinion. Now obviously this camera being so tiny and everything, they, there's no ability to change any settings. Uh, and I believe this only comes in NTSC and in 4.3 versions. No PAL and no 16.9. So that's pretty much all the highlights from this camera. I'll uh, show you some flight footage at the normal park that I fly at so you can compare this to other cameras. Check the link in the description to some other videos that you want to see some additional flights and footage of this from the Mobile 6 and the Baby Tooth. Uh, you get to see some additional flights and you can get to see what this camera looks like in different situations, different lighting situations, etc. Anyway, here's the flight footage. If you guys have any questions, let me know and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.